hello there. Mr. Slate has put us in charge of the hooker duck stall today, and it's thirsty work. Cool. We've certainly been busy. Yes, Richard. We've only one prize left. <coughs> what is it? It's a jack in the box. Now don't fiddle with it. <coughs> Weep, I told you not to fiddle with it. Anyway, what are we going to do about this lack of prizes? Yes, Sooty? Your latest invention will fix it. It's in the tool shed. A teddy bear making machine? Oh, a teddy bear making teddies! What a clever idea, Sooty. Well, maybe, but we need to get cleaned up first. Mm. Come on then, Sooty. Oh, good afternoon. Hello. I was wondering what toys could be won on your stall. Oh, none at the moment, sir, but come back soon because we're going to make some teddy bears. Oh, teddy bears, you say? Mm. Oh, that's absolutely marvellous. <laughs> Oh, you've got a jack-in-the-box, have you, little doggy? <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Oh, oh dear me. <laughs> I'll come back later to see the teddy bears. And who knows, if they're good, you might be dripping with offers. Uh, dripping with... <laughs> a toodle pip. Bye! Come on, you lot. We've got teddies to make. Ready, Teddy, go! Ow! Right then, gang, do we all know what we're doing? Yes, I'm in charge of putting on the eyes and noses, and Sweet's in charge of stuffing. <laughs> You're going to start stuffing now? <laughs> <laughs> hey, and we're in charge of gluing. <laughs> He'll have to go. <laughs> What kind of teddy should we make? Well, how about ones just like you, Sooty? After all, everybody loves you. Oh, that's a great idea, Sooty. Sweep, come down here, please. We need to take Sooty's measurements. Yes, here you right. are. Right. Hold on to that, then, so we can take the measurements. Uh, Sooty, you're about a metre wide. Uh, what are you doing over there? <laughs> I told you to take the measurements. Yes, but not into the garden. Don't Keep it back here. Right, Sooty, just hold it against your tummy and we'll get some accurate measurements this time. Right. Sooty, have you been putting on weight? You... Get out of it! Go back to your stuffing. Go on. Uh, hey, we need to get the material for gluing. All right. Oh, yes, that is the perfect match. Fetch the gluing machine. All right, here it is. Right, Sooty, let's turn it on. That's it. Right. Nothing seems to be coming out. Um... <laughs> Oi! Get that off your head! <laughs> Sausage brain! Well, you've got plenty of glue on that material now. Come on, let's put it in the machine. <laughs> We're ready to make the first teddy bear. You fixed it. <laughs> Quick, boys, the machine's on fire. Turn it off. Sooty, do something. It's the hose pipe. Ah, no, ah, don't, 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 don't do that. See what sort of teddy bear we've made. Oh, look at it! It's like a piece of coal! Try it again. Oh, all right. Turn the machine on. Oh, 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 oh that's better! Now, it's over to my creature feature machine to give it some eyes and a nose. OK, Sue, pop in the eyes. Here we go. Let's pop that in there as well. On with the lid and turn on the machine. Here we go. Oh, dear. It's just a load of eyes. There's only one thing that'll fix this. What? Teamwork! In you Thing. Easy. 
Right, let's get these to the hooker duck stall straight away. Fancy that! I've never seen this stall as busy and it's all thanks to your teddy, Sooty. Yes. Mr Slater's going to be so happy. Oh, yes, you're right, Sooty. These are the finest teddy bears I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, how do I know your name? Well, I make it my business to learn the names of people who are kind to children. Uh, I wonder if you could help me. Uh, your toy making ability is precisely what I need. Uh, I mean, I'm a toy maker myself, uh, but uh, time is against me and <laughs> I'm not getting any younger. So I need you to help me complete my orders. Oh, thank you. But what's your name? Why? Haven't you guessed? No. Perhaps this will help. How does it go, Sooty? Yes, of course. Easy Wizzy, let's get busy! <laughs> Where are we and why are we dressed like this? I'm not sure. It looks like we're at the North Pole and at Christmas. Who was that old man? What's that, Sooty? You think it could be Father Christmas? Oh, ho, ho! Welcome to my humble home! It is Father Christmas! Yes! This is where I make all the toys for all the boys and girls throughout the world. So, do you want Sooty to make teddies for your Father Christmas? Well, all in good time. You can have some fun now, if you like. After all, it is Christmas, and, and we can't have Christmas without snow. Oh, no, I love all snow! All together! Busy, Wizzy! Let's get busy! Come in time for Christmas. Look around, it's everywhere. Thanks to Sooty and his magic, he's our favorite teddy bear. Easy wishes, what you say? Every day is Christmas Day. The party never ends with Sooty and his friends. Snow, snow, snow time. It's snow, snow, snow show time. Sooty, sweet best soup. I gotta play in the snow for you. Snow, 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 snow time. time. It's snow, snow, snow show time. time. Lots of fun for everyone. Snow, snow, snow. snow. Thank you, my friends. I could never have got Christmas ready without you. I mean, Sooty, you really are the very best teddy bear in the whole world. And as you've been so good and kind to me, I got you each a present here. Oh, here how kind! This is necessary. And now to get you safely home. Uh, shall we do this together? <laughs> yes. Easy, wizzy, let's get busy. Wake up, gang. I think we must have dozed off. Oh, I had an extraordinary dream. So did I. What are these presents doing here? <laughs> Whoa, look, this one's for me. And, oh, a new dress. I'm going to try it on right now. <laughs> one for you. <laughs> it is a new bone. <laughs> look at me in my new dress. Oh, you look lovely, Sue. <laughs> What have you got, Sooty? <gasps> wow! A golden magic wand! I can't help thinking I 
seen that before somewhere. Me too. Do you know, I think it's Mr Slater that got us these presents to thank us for all the hard work that we did on the stall. Ha! What an unexpected surprise. <laughs> You're right, Richard. What an unexpected surprise. <laughs> a jack in the box. <laughs> well, it's closing time, but as a present from me to you, I'm going to treat you all to fish and chips. Yay! Come on. Bye-bye, everybody! Bye-bye! Oh, hello there. Oh, sorry about the mess. Mr Slater's put me in charge of opening his new picnic area. Sooty and Sweep are helping me get the flower beds ready. How are you getting on, boys? Oi, sweep! Those flowers are supposed to be planted in the ground, not on your head! Come on, boys, get busy! to do is sprinkle these sunflower seeds into the flower beds then we'll give them a little drink with a hose pipe and we can head off for lunch. Off you go. Oh, oh that's very good. Right, now let's give them a drink. So go and turn on the tap, okay? Go and turn on the tap. Have you turned it on yet? You think so? What do you mean you think so? There's nothing coming out. I know it's on now. Oh, let's water the sunflower seeds. You can turn it off now. <laughs> My nose is all wet. Yes, I squirted myself with a hose pipe. All right, all right, sausage brain. I'll go and get myself a towel. Sunflower! Ah! There's a giant sunflower! Hang on a minute. I knew it! I knew it! With a magic wand! Oh, look, instead of playing tricks, why don't you help me and sweet water these seeds? Sooty, oh, no! No! Sooty, take it off there and do it properly! Don't mess about! Stop! That's very naughty. Stay still, Sweet. Stand still. Stand. Oh, my goodness. Get rid of it. Could he do something? I think that's enough watering. That's enough. That's enough. Put your spades in the ground and I'll see you back at the caravan for lunch. Go on. Come <laughs> on. 
This time, there was no magic to blame. Oh no, Sweep Spade has just burst through the underground water pipe. all right boys mine's just stopped working i can't get any water the, the taps aren't working here either richard oh, oh dear there must be a simple explanation sorry what's that the pipes must be blocked we should call for a plumber hey you could be right yes 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 a plumber will have this sorted in no time hey see if you can find one on the internet sue right oh now uh and here we are, Richard. Call the experts Little Drip Plumbing. Oh, great job, Sue. Right, here we go. Hello, is that Little Drip Plumbing? Hello, yes, it's Richard from Slater's Holiday Park. We seem to have a problem with our water pipes. You send someone over straight away. Oh, that's fantastic. Bye. Oh, no need to worry about a thing. The plumbers will be here any second. Oh, hello. I oh, no. You're the Little Drips, are you? You're experts. You're going to fix the blockage. And how are you going to do that exactly? <coughs> Watch out what you're doing with that thing. <laughs> What's that? That'll sort it out. Well, I'm going to sort you two out if you don't get that thing out of here. I'm going to regret this, aren't I? Sooty says, Izzy Wizzy, let's get busy. This brush will shift what's stopping the water, says Sooty. If only he could see the trouble it was causing at the other end. things up. He can be such a sausage brain. Yes, I know. I mean, when it comes to plumbing, he's not so much a little drip as a big drip. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> ah! What are those boys doing? Now, this shouldn't be here. Right. <laughs> Oi, I want a word with you two plumbing experts. There's still no water anywhere. Yes, there is. What do you mean, yes, there is? Over there. Over <gasps> oh, no! The picnic area! Oh, no! This was why we didn't have any water. Your spade must have cut through the pipe when you put it down. You'll fix it. Go on then, Mr. Expert. Ah! Now what are we going to do? We can't open the picnic area in there. Excuse me, no one's oh. playing your water park. Water park? Yeah, the water park. How much is it, please? No, no, this isn't a water park. Some of the pipes have been broken. Compound? There you go. Come on, kids. Nice one, something. Hang on a minute. This isn't a water park. 
Hello? Oh, Mr. Slater, you've heard the news? It was a really good idea of mine to turn the picnic area into a water park. There could be a promotion in the pipeline. Oh, bye! If only he knew. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Boys, I'm sure it must be in here somewhere. Are you having any luck, sweet? You found a box! Excellent! What's in it? Oofal dust? That soot is magic dust! Well, I don't think our fancy dress costumes are going to be in their bone brain. Keep looking! What is it, Sooty? Have you found something? Wow! The fancy dress costumes! Well done, Sooty! You found them! Hey, look! My Cinderella dress. What a relief. I thought it was lost forever. Sweep! Sweep! <laughs> Don't sweep, you sausage brain. You can't wait to put on a costume, Sooty. Nor can I. In fact, I'm going to put mine on right now. <laughs> I hope I win the fancy dress competition. Yes, you're on the guest list. In you go. And you look fantastic, by the way. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Oh, hello there. I've got a very important job today. It's our annual fancy dress competition, and Mr Slater has put me in charge of security. It's my job to make sure that everyone who goes in there is on the guest list, because, um... Between you and me, we've had some problems in the past. You see, every year, Mr Slater's arch-rival, Barry Bonkers, tries to sneak in here, ruin everyone's costumes, and get all the prizes for himself. Ha-ha! <laughs> but not this time. Not with me in charge. He won't even get close! <laughs> That's what you think, Richard Cadell. That's what you think. <laughs> Did you hear something? Hello, Richard. Stay right where you are. You are entering a restricted area. A what? It's me, Richard. Oh, really? That's exactly what Barry Bonkers would want me to think, isn't it? I can prove it's me because... I brought the clean jacket you asked me for. Here you are, Richard. Oh, Sue, it really is you. Oh, do you know, I had a bit of an accident with this jacket. Sooty and ketchup do not mix. Oh, and I also brought... your favourite pair of underpants. Uh, hang on a minute. What have you bought these for? I've told you before, Sue, do not parade my pants in public. And anyway, just like to state for the record, these are not mine. <laughs> Sorry, Richard, uh, my mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely costume, by the way. Thank you. Which reminds me, I must get changed into my costume soon. Hello there. Hang on a minute. Who have you come as? Well, Richard, I'm a big fan, so I've come as you. <laughs> oh, how good is that? Oh, that's brilliant. Well, go on in then. Go on in you go. And best of luck. Boy! <laughs> How good is that? <laughs> right, I must go and get changed myself. <laughs> <laughs> Trap will ensure that I win the fancy dress competition. <laughs> when the time is right, all I have to do is to pull on this rope. The buckets will tip, and every costume will be covered in a satisfying splodge of guns. 
Wow! You all look fantastic! Excuse me! Hello, boys! Wow! Cool costumes! Your spider bear and super dog? Of course, the famous heroes! Hey, boys, boys, did you know your costumes are sparkling? Are they meant to do that? What's that, Sooty? Oh, you've got oofal dust on your costumes, and it's made the magic! So now you've got superpowers like the real spider bear and super dog. Wow! <laughs> you thought you were a bit fast. <laughs> Do I want some food? Oh, yes, that's a good idea. I am feeling rather peckish. Come on, boys. Wow! He is fast, Sooty. Up or Richard won't be very impressed. Have either of you seen him? He's gone to get changed. Oh, 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 oh look! Here's someone dressed as a traffic cone. <laughs> Ooh, looks like road rage. <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. Boys and girls, can I have your attention, please? It's Richard Cadell speaking. <laughs> I'm sure you'll all remember that last year the fancy dress competition was ruined by the dastardly Barry Bonkers and his terrible treacle trap. Well, boys and girls, I'm sorry to tell you that the same thing has happened this year. That's right. Barry Bonkers is back and he's there, disguised as a traffic cone. What? Don't worry, Richard. We'll sort him out. That's it. Sort out the bounder. Look, that man can't possibly be Richard. Why? Because he's wearing the stained jacket. And Richard changed the jacket earlier. Mr. Slater's going to be ever so pleased with me. <laughs> OK, gather round, folks, gather round. It's time for the fancy dress competition! Yay! And the winner is in for a real treacle. Treat! It's in for a real treat. <laughs> so now, the moment you've all been waiting for! Yay! Actually, could you just all move? Just, just that way, just that way. And then up! And just, just in a bit. Just a bit closer, just a bit closer. That's the... Just a little bit closer. Perfect. <laughs> Look, boys, he's got a treacle trap. <coughs> Quick, boys, do something. <coughs> this competition is about to meet a sticky end. Once again, all the prizes shall be mine. <laughs> Magic is wearing off. If he pulls that rope, we're all going to get covered in green treacle. Richard! Oh, Sooty's 
Creep and Sue have fixed Barry Bonkers. Yes. And for that, they win the competition. <laughs> Not so fast. <laughs> Do something, Sooty. <laughs> Easy, Wizzy. Let's get busy. Understand what's going on? <laughs> now that's what you call a sticky ending. <laughs> bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. Aha, uh -huh, gang. Mr. Slate has given me a day off today, so I thought I'd have a tidy up. And look what I found in the tool shed. <laughs> Yes, I know it's a box, but inside it are some wonderful sooty memories. Oh, sooty, just look at this picture of you and your Uncle Harry. Yeah. And how about this one? Oh, look, sooty, it's Matthew. Oh, that does bring back memories. <laughs> and this one? Oh, yes, that's a photo of when we went to the zoo. Do you yes. remember that, Richard? I certainly do, Sue. Somebody locked me in the monkey cage. <laughs> Don't do that! Have a go with this. What is it? Sooty's Magic Surprise Jar. Oh, I wonder why it's called that. Just open it. All right. Then. Ah! <laughs> very funny, very funny. Well, now you've stopped laughing. That'll do, thank you. Uh-oh. Uh now, do you remember this, Sooty? That's your petrol pump from your toy garage. And I know where that is. It's in the tool shed. Ah, oh, there's so much wonderful stuff in the tool shed. A veritable treasure trove of memories are in the tool shed. Memories that can be relived again and again are in the tool shed. Memories of happy times and happy places are... <laughs> yes, in the tool shed. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> to the tool shed. Look what I found, Richard. Oh, Sue, you look lovely in that photograph. Thank you, Richard. I used to love playing in that Wendy house, and that was one of my very favourite necklaces. I don't think I've worn it since that photo. I wonder where it is. <laughs> hey! Hey, look what I found! It's Sue's Wendy house! The one that was in the photograph! Well, it's a bit dusty. It should clean up all right. I know what, why don't we redecorate the house as a surprise for Sue? Not now he needs some petrol. Oh no, come on, let's redecorate the house. You need some petrol? Well, I'm sorry, but that isn't even a real petrol pump. Oh, that's very good, but I know that that hose is full of water and he's just going to squirt me. I know what. <laughs> let's squirt sweet. Da -da 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 Very funny. Come on, you two, let's go and decorate this house. Come on, outside. Where can it be? Maybe I lost my necklace when I was in here. No. No. Oh, oh you boys look ready. Hey, listen, if you build Sue's Wendy house, I'll make sure she doesn't come outside and ruin the surprise. Don't worry, you're experts. Well, go on then, convince me. I must find that necklace. I must. Sue! Sue, where are you? What are you doing? Sue! Sorry, Richard. I'm trying to find my necklace. Well, don't panic, Sue. I'm sure it will turn up somewhere, but there really is no need to make all this mess. Where is it? Sue! <laughs>
I'm sure it will turn up. I've got it. Oh, thank goodness. No, I mean, I think I remember where I left it. In the rabbit hutch. The rabbit hutch? Oh, well done, Sooty. I see you giving your paint a good stir. Very good. Well, let's get busy then. I'll take the stick. Thanks a lot. Right, mix the paint up and let's start by painting something really nice. How about the door? Sue will love a nicely, freshly painted door, won't she? That's Oh, you're going to need more paint than that, Sooty. Go on. Plenty on the brush. That'll do. Go on, off you go. <laughs> I think Sweep's feeling a bit blue. <laughs> That's not funny. Oh, he was funny, wasn't he, Sooty? No. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> sweep. Sweep. I say sweep. I... Oh. <laughs> sweep. It's dangerous to shove people's faces into paint, and it's very messy. I wouldn't laugh, Sweep. Oh no. no. <laughs> Boys, 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 stop. Stop, stop this. Listen, listen. I don't know what we'll do. We'll divide the job fairly, OK? Sooty, you can decorate the outside of the house. And Sweet, why don't you take the wallpaper and decorate the inside of the house? Go and get pasting. Go on, get busy. Hop it. <laughs> uh, Sweet, if you're going to put wallpaper up, you're going to need your wallpaper paste. Yes, wallpaper paste. Come and get it. Well, I'm glad you think it's funny. Go on, get back to work. Get that wallpaper up. Go on, get busy. Go on, hop it. <laughs> He'll have to go, that dog. He'll have to go. <laughs> Sweet! Sweet, what are you doing now? Your wallpaper's hanging out the window. Come down here and get it. <sighs> now take it inside. Go on. Sweet! Sweet! Oi! Bone brain. Now you've torn it. <sighs> well, never mind about the wallpapering. Ah, that's more like it. Set up your trestle, Sooty. Let's get some serious painting done. Now, let's get this house decorated. There we are, Sooty. That looks well set up. Do you know, Sue's going to be so surprised when she sees this Wendy house. <laughs> Good. Just pop it on the end. Now, one thing's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> get up there! Out of the way, you! I have to go, that dog. Let's get rid of this. It's causing too much trouble. Sooty, what are you doing? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, you're for it now. Now, don't do anything you might regret. Uh-oh. No, no, Sooty, no. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, oh, no! No. <laughs> oh, you're well into Sue's going to be so excited when she sees this. It's beautiful. Maybe she'll forget about that necklace. I'll call her. Sue! Have you found my necklace? Oh, boys! My marvellous Wendy house. Oh, this is excellent. It looks so wonderful. Oh, I wonder if the window's still open. Cooey! <gasps> look! Look, everyone! It's my necklace! It's my necklace! It was in my Wendy house all the time. Oh, there you go, Sue. I said it would turn up. Mm. 
You found it in the Wendy house. Wendy window was open. <laughs> Wendy oh. window. <laughs> All right. Say goodbye, Richard. Okay. <laughs> bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. 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 The scene is in the depths of the South American rainforest. Our hero, the intrepid adventurer Indiana Sooty, has been captured by a mad gorilla who wants him for his dinner. Oh, how will our courageous explorer escape the clutches of doom? <gasps> With superhuman strength, Indiana Sooty breaks free. But will the growling gorilla bow to his supremacy and be armed with his trusty water pistol? Just when Indiana Sooty thought he had defeated the gorilla, another savage beast emerges through the undergrowth. What's that? <laughs> Oi! Will you lot stop messing around? I'm supposed to be running Mr. Slater's new crazy golf course. Oh, sorry, Richard. We couldn't resist it. It's like being in the middle of a jungle here. It's amazing. Yes. I'm not surprised there's hardly any customers here with you playing around. Come on. <laughs> Ooh, things are a bit quiet today, Richard. They certainly are, Sue. Oh, it's head office. It's Mr. Slater. Uh, hello, Mr. Slater. Yes, I am here at the Jungle Crazy Golf, but things are quiet. What? Get some customers or I'll get the sack. But... Oh, he's gone. Oh, what am I going to do? What's that, Sooty? You've got an idea. Everyone who gets to the final hole on the Crazy Golf wins a bar of chocolate. Hey, that should attract some customers. Yes, you're right, Sweep. Everybody does like chocolate. This idea could really work, right? I think we need to get some chocolate delivered, and I know exactly who'll deliver it. Let's call Matt Snacks. Oh, hello there. Uh, yes, you're right. It's me, Matthew Corbett. If you don't recognise me, ask your mum and dad. You know, 25 years of being a television presenter, and now I'm a van driver. Life can be very cruel. Good morning, sir. Oh, gosh, you look familiar. Yes, and you look strangely familiar as well. Did we, uh, you, did I, uh, did we, oh, did I ever? Um, I've got some chocolate to deliver. <clears throat> what a very nice man. Oh, hello. Can you sign for this, please? Gosh, you look familiar. Oh, don't you start. Hello. I look familiar. Oh, not you two. Do you know something? The last time I saw you two, I got squirted in the face with water. As a matter of fact, I got squirted in the face with water quite often. I hope you've got some new jokes. <laughs> At least it's not water. <clears throat> Thank you, I'll take that. There's your chocolate, I'm off. And this is why I had to retire. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Talk about a trip down memory lane. Bye-bye, <clears throat> everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs> Do you know, he looks even more familiar with that pie on his face. <laughs> Okay, go and collect your chocolate. <laughs> Hello, boys. Oh, business is booming. Mr. Slate is going to be really pleased with me. Do you know, giving chocolate away was a great idea, Sooty. How can I ever thank you? Well, how about giving us a chocolate bar? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Richard, can we? Can we? Oh. All right. <laughs> the chocolate! Oh, Richard, you scoffed a lot. I'm so disappointed in you. Oh, no, I haven't. <laughs> oh, no, I haven't. Prove it. All right, I will. 
left. Watch this. <laughs> Hello? Is that the Yellow Bear Detective Agency? Yes, this is Richard calling from Slater's Holidays. And we have had a serious chocolate burglary. I need you to send over your two finest detectives. They'll be over right away. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, no, it's not you two, is it? You're from the Yellow Bear Detective Agency? Oh. You're Sherlock Sooty, and he's Dr. Watsit. <laughs> Dr. Watsit. What's the problem? Well, you know what the problem is. You. We've had some chocolate stolen, and I need to find out who's taken it. You'll look for some clues. Ah, now this is very impressive. This will certainly prove that I had nothing to do with taking that chocolate. What are you doing? You're going to take some fingerprints? <laughs> Whose fingerprints are you going to be taking then? What do you want me to do with this? Just open it. Just open it. Hey, this is what you call an open and shut case. <laughs> well, this will prove that I'm in it. Sooty, what are you doing? So, so, what, are you, what are you doing with that? So, what are you doing? So, Sooty! <laughs> I don't believe this. Having my fingerprints taken by the great Sherlock Sooty. No, we don't need another one, do we? We don't need another one, Sooty. <laughs> so what does this tell you, then? I've got to wash my fingers. Well, I don't think this proves anything, does it? Uh, Sooty, what are you doing? You're supposed to be looking for fingerprints that match the thief that took the chocolate. I don't believe this. But... It's me. It's not me. Sooty, I am completely... What's going on? Uh, Sooty, what do you need those for? Sooty, so Sooty, Sooty, they can get dirty. <laughs> oh, dear. I can't believe Richard would eat all that chocolate and then leave all this rubbish. Oh, yuck. What a mess. It's all over my paws. Oh, <laughs> another gorilla model. Gosh, I haven't seen this one before. Oh, 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 this one's real, and he's got chocolate! I'm telling you, Sherlock Sooty, you've got the wrong man. I am not the chocolate thief. Ah, help! Help! Hang on a minute. Look at those paws. Oh, covered in chocolate. Oh, no, Richard, no! I put it to you, madam. I put it to you, madam, that you are the chocolate thief. What? I'm not the chocolate thief. I've just seen a giant gorilla and it was holding a chocolate bar. <laughs> you don't believe this rubbish, do you, Sherlock Sooty? You do? Eh? And you're going to set a trap to catch the gorilla? <coughs> but there is no gorilla. <coughs> oh, no, there isn't. I, I don't believe this. Oh, come on, Richard. I'll show you that I'm telling the truth. <sighs> There's no sign of a gorilla anywhere, Sue. Oh, honestly, Richard, he was just here. It's not a real gorilla. Then, then who, who is it? it? 
the Pavilion <laughs> Delivery Van Driver. Yes, and I would have got away with it if it hadn't been for you lot. What on earth were you up to? Well, I was just monkeying around. <laughs> monkeying around, you get it? Monkeying around. I didn't like this stuff he did. So have you eaten all the chocolate? No, of course not. It's here. But if I were you, I wouldn't eat that. Because it is off. Off? Off. Smell it. All right. <laughs> have a heart, Sooty. Wash him off. Just... Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, Richard. Another 25 years. You could be quite good at this. <laughs> would you like to do it? Can I do it? It would be a pleasure. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Oh, hello there. Oh, I'm just off to deliver all these leaflets to all the other caravans. It's Mr Slater's new money-making scheme. It's a pizza delivery service, so it's another busy day for me. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the finest fashion show in the world. And now we're about to see my new autumn collection. No, oh, Sotty! What have you done to her? Beards and boots indeed. Get it off. <laughs> and now our next lady, who I'm told will be out of this world. <laughs> sweep, sweep, what are you doing? <laughs> She's out of this world? Yes, but painting her green to make her look like an alien is not what I wanted, you toasty dog. <laughs> and now, <clears throat> the grand finale of the Sue Collection. Please welcome one of the most beautiful women in the world, modelling stunning swimwear. Oh, a gorilla in a bikini! You two boys, you just don't take fashion seriously. Unlike my hero. Look, look, Valentino du Prado, world famous fashion designer. Oh, if only I could be like him. Well, we're open for business. Ooh, that could be an order now. Hello, Slater's Pizza Deliveries. Oh, Mr. Slater! Yes, the telephone lines are now open. They better be quality pizzas or I'll get the sack. But... Oh, he's gone. Ooh. Actually, I'm not worried, because I have hired two fantastic Italian chefs to cook the pizzas. Oh, yes. Only Signor Sottini and his assistant, Sweet Pacino. They should be here any minute now. <coughs> oh, no. It's you, is it? <coughs> You're experts. Experts. Well, I hope you two know what you're doing. God, now, where's my pizza delivery girl? Sue! Sue! <gasps> oh, you look really nice in your uniform. Huh. No, I don't. I'm a disaster, darling. I mean, look at this hat. It's so last year. I can design a much better outfit. If you'd just like to look at my fashion magazine, then I can show... Sue, maybe later. Right now, you've got a very important job. You've got pizzas to deliver! What can be more important than fashion? Humph! Now, boys, let's get this straight. Do you actually know how to work this pizza-making machine? <laughs> Would I like a demonstration? <laughs> Go on, then. Impress me. Hello, Slater's Pizza Deliveries. One ham and pineapple, certainly, sir. You better get making the pizza, Sooty. Oh, uh, hello, Slater's Pizza Deliveries. Six pepperonis. Sooty, you better get making those pizzas as quick as you can. Oh. Hello, Slater's Pizza Deliveries. Oh, three Hawaiians. Oh, Sooty, you better get busy. <laughs> Sweep! 
What are you doing down there? <laughs> Getting up. You're supposed to be putting the pizzas in the boxes. <laughs> Sausage brain. We can't use those now, sweet. We'll just have to make some more. Sooty, we've just had an order for another 12 pizzas. Oh, no. Hello, Slater's Pizza <laughs> Delivery. <laughs> what? <laughs> Four ham and pineapple? <laughs> <laughs> Quick, Sooty, get a move on. We need those pizzas double quick. Hello, Slater's Pizza Delivery. Just have four meat feasts. Yes, no problem. Hello, Slater's Pizza Delivery. Six chicken specials and a veggie. A five sir. Hello, Slater's Delivery. Hello. Hello. Dixon, can I show you my fashion ideas for our uniforms, please? Not now, Sue. We've got lots of pizzas to deliver. Oh. Boys, don't do that. Valentino de Prado has to put up with anything like this. <laughs> Hello, Valentino speaking. I know you want to know where I am, but I, I not tell you. I cannot take the pressure no more. Uh, I come on holiday to come away from the fashion world. No, no, I not tell you. You will never find me. They will never find me here. Right, Sooty, let's get these pizzas delivered really quickly so they don't get cold. Oh, what's this then? It's a super fast pizza delivery machine. Well, how does it work? Ooh. for six pizzas at Caravan 34. for it. I'll have to do it myself. Right, uh, what do we need? Uh, sausages, that'll be good. Cheese, very important for a pizza. Tomato, there we are. Oh, let's just put it all in. Right, here we go. Let's get busy. Mamma mia! These are incredible! I must find out who make this. Um, why is that? They are fantastico! <gasps> Look, I think going to be a real hit this season. I think a real must. A must? More like a thin crust. <gasps> Wait a minute! I don't believe it! You're Valentino du Prado. Shh, 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 shh. This is not important. I must find out who is the designer of these beautiful hats. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> it is you. There is no doubt about it, young lady. You have a big future in the world of fashion. Ooh. I don't know what's wrong with this pizza machine. 
Maybe I've not put enough ingredients in. That could be it. Because you can never have too much of a good thing. <laughs> right. Now let's really crank it up. <laughs> Magnifico. These are fantastic. I think this had to be a real sensation. Hooray! I said I'd be an international fashion designer one day. Oh, Sue, I, I love the hat. Such a great design. But uh, I think the suit uh, is too much. Suit? What suit? I didn't make a suit. Oh, oh looks like dinner's on rich. <laughs> It'll look like he could use a little uh, pizza and a choir, huh? Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> everybody. Bye-bye.